Located at the intersection of Europe, Asia and Africa, the Eastern Mediterranean is a geographic region with a fascinating history. Over the centuries, this region formed the core of a succession of political formations, such as the Hellenistic Kingdoms, Roman Empire, Byzantium and finally the Ottoman Empire. Despite the connections promoted by these empires and kingdoms, separate sub-regions maintained their distinct cultural character and gave rise to some of the best-known civilizations, such as those of the ancient Egyptians and Greeks that lie at the roots of modern civilizations. Archaeological science, using scientific techniques from fields such as geology, biology and chemistry to address archaeological questions, is among the most important tools for understanding the complex past of the Eastern Mediterranean. As such, it offers a unique window to the past. You know how important objects are in our lives, things made of ceramic, of metal, of glass. And if we study these objects that survive in the archaeological record, we can learn a lot about ancient people and ancient crafts and technology. One of the objects and materials I'm interested in is copper. Copper is made from stones, green stones, easily visible on the surface. But you need to extract that little bit of copper from this big stone. The way people do it, they put it in a furnace, separate the copper from the waste, the slag, which is what we see here behind me in large quantities. And that copper then can be used to make coins or statues or armor or tools. If we analyze those finished objects and compare to the metal that is still left in here, we can see where it came from, we can see how it was processed, and that tells us a lot about the skills of the ancient people. With expertise in the study of human bones, of plant remains and material culture, research at the Science and Technology and Archaeology and Culture Research Center, Star C, of the Cyprus Institute, covers ancient humans, their natural environment and their material culture. Food may be the only universal thing that uh, has the power to bring people together. Whatever culture, people get together to eat. What we eat, where we eat it, and who we consume it with defines us as a society. And that goes back to millennia. The very, very small, minute plant remains that we find carbonized in the archaeological excavations give us information about this very important aspect of human history. So we learn a lot about diet, agricultural practices, and farming in the past. Here at Promised, we're going to see not only the diet of the past, but we're going to see how complex societies were farming their land. So we're going to focus on wine production and olive oil production in Eastern Mediterranean. When we think of ancient human bones, we assume that we will be able to tell how people died. But the study of skeletal remains reveals key information on how people lived in the past. The human skeleton is like an inscription that you have to decipher. The letters are there, more or less, but you need to read them correctly. If you do, you can identify if a skeleton belongs to a man or a woman, what diseases the individuals suffered from, and other aspects of their life. The Cyprus Institute recently received funding for the twinning program promised promoting archaeological science in the Eastern Mediterranean. This project will establish a partnership between Starsi and two leaders in archaeological sciences, KU Leuven and the University of Cambridge. Cutting edge archaeological science is an exciting international and collaborative enterprise. It requires outstanding deep and long term partnerships in training and research. Cambridge Archaeology is therefore proud to join with a world-renowned Cyprus Institute to advance new approaches in research and through the creation of a world-class graduate school to partner in training the next generation of leading archaeological scientists on the island of Cyprus and across the wider region. All research is performed in close collaboration with partners such as the Cypriot Department of Antiquities the Archaeological Research Unit of the University of Cyprus and other regional authorities for three years, training, research and dissemination actions will upgrade the scientific performance of Starsi and develop an internationally recognized doctoral school in Cyprus. These initiatives will transform Starsi in a center of excellence in archaeological science that will collaborate with national authorities towards bringing the past of the region to light.